This is Ruddy Muddy in action, working on a particularly grubby Ford Transit, but for him, mud and grime are what he needs. Like Banksy, his true identity is a closely guarded secret. He works quickly and with just a bit of old tissue can create a mountain scene of great beauty. I had a bit of spare time on my hands and I was getting fed up with people writing all sorts of weird things on vans and I thought it would be quite interesting to, to play around, do something a bit nice, make people smile maybe. I've occasionally done clean me but that's not very funny is it? No, I think that, that, that died out a few years ago. I think, I think people could be a bit more imaginative. Hey, we're only joking about the identity thing. Ruddy Muddy is really Rick Minns, a van driver and amateur artist. Rick's van and what he calls his graffilthy art has been spotted all over the region. I've had people contact me from Woodbridge, from Stowmarket, um, Halesworth, Holt, Wisbeach, Kings Lynn, all over. A few in Cambridge as well. So That's your fame nice. is spreading? Um, the art certainly is, I don't know about fame. <laughs> <laughs> Ruddy Muddy's art is also portable. We wanted to know what the great British public made of it, so we took his van to a car park in Wyndham. What do you think? Yeah, I think it looks great. It's brilliant. Yeah, I like the detail in them. It's really cool. It's really good. It's better than the usual stuff, as I said, on the side of a van, you'd see. You don't do any of that kind of stuff, do you? I don't think I could do that kind of stuff that well, no. No, but that rude stuff. <laughs> not the rude stuff, no, not at all. <laughs> and like all great artists, Ruddy Muddy makes it look easy, which it isn't. But on the basis that it's the taking part that counts, here's a little portrait of Susie Fowler-Watt and David Whiteley. Mike Liggins, BBC Look East, Wyndham.